What's happening achievers? Ajit Sidhu here from Invincible Achievers. The type of influencer you are can influence your life and others in either a good way or a bad way. Now what you have to remember is there's two types of leaders. One is someone that forces others to do things that they want. Now forcing is one way of doing it. And everyone has heard of leaders that have done it like Hitler that forces other people to, to do, do it. Um, but there's also a better way of leading which is through power. And now power leadership is a leadership which starts off from knowing yourself. Once you know yourself, then you can influence others because you need to know what influences yourself first. And this is the crucial thing. People always try to jump to become a leader. They think getting into management is leading people. But the truth is managing is managing situations. You can, there's many different managers out there. But to be, actually become a leader in your field, you have to know that there is two parts to leading through power. One is leading your inner world. The second is leading your outer world. Now, the, the, it always starts off with your inner world. You have to know what influences you. If you do not know what influences you, you cannot influence others. If you start off trying to influence others, you will come into a conflicting situation where you will know why you're having an argument. You're not understanding why other people are not following. And if that happens, then you revert back from power, le leading through power to leading through force. Now, people that have le led through power, everyone knows, many people know it. You know of somebody that has led through power. Just think of somebody who you look up to, someone who has influenced your life, someone who's been there through love, care, compassion, who's been a role model, who's actually done what you wanted to do and saw that you saw that they were ahead of you and you, you followed through a sense of magnetism, a magnetism that in like a positive and a negative that attracts, that is power. A negative and a negative or a positive and a positive push away, but then you're trying to force that magnet together. That is force leadership. And in force leadership, what tends to happen is you go in, you tell people off, you reprimand, you say, this is the way you do it. You shout, you scream, you, you get angry, or you put punishment in place. Once you put the punishment in place, the person l l follows for the moment. Then once you disappear, it revert, they revert back to their old self. That is leadership through power leadership through force leadership through power is somebody that comes in with care and compassion somebody that knows themselves somebody that has walk is walking the path and knows that they can actually walk the path and they're there to show others how to walk that path this steps these steps are, they all start off with the inner world. You need to know what influences yourself. And this is something I learned from Tony Robbins, the six human needs. There's six human needs. Every single human has this need. And anyone that studied Tony Robbins, his core is this. So once, you, we, once we understand this, we can influence ourselves and influence others. Now the six human needs are, the first one is certainty. Now, certainty or security, if this is every single human, human being on this planet needs this. Don't, I don't want you to think that one is better than the other and we believe that whichever, whichever resonates most with you, that's the, your top two priority, by the way, whilst I'm going through this. So do listen carefully. So the first one is security and security or certainty. Same thing. The second one is uncertainty or variety, same thing. The third one is significance. We want significance in whatever we're doing. We want that. 
The fourth one is love and connection. So these are the, the primary needs that everyone needs. Now the, the, the next two needs are ones that fulfill us the most. That's growth, that's the, the, the fifth one. And the sixth one is contribution. Now every single human being needs these needs. It's a human needs. Tony Robbins has, uh, Tony has actually figured this out and he teaches this constantly. Now, if we figure out which are the two top priority ones for ourselves, we will understand ourselves more than we have ever understood ourselves. So if, for instance, significance is your priority, the for number one priority, then you will do everything, every decision you make will be based upon you getting significance or creating significance. Now, anyone who's an actor or a performer, they have that. You can see it, they, they need to be significant. If they didn't have the significance, they will not be able to take rejection over and over and over again until they get on stage, until they become famous. Significance is a priority for them. And that is a superpower that drives them forward. Now, if it's love and connection, like in the childcare industry, many of the practitioners that I speak to, they all have love and connection. They have to have love and connection to be able to connect with the children, to connect with the children, show compassion to the children, show the love, the parental love. That's there in them. That's a their driving force. Now that's always there in every single human being, but it's what priority in certain beings and they will move forward on that. If it's certainty, you will always go and do make decisions where you are certain that you will get a result. You are certain, you won't take big risks. You will be a type of person that will invest in security, have a job which is secure, a secure job. Now that's not a bad thing, that's a good thing because you need security. Uncertainty, if uncertainty is your thing, then you're a risk taker, you're adrenaline junkie. You want variety, you wanna be traveling the world. Now remember, every single person has these needs. So as I'm going through this, as I was, go as I was going through this, I was like, yeah, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. But you gotta find out which are the two top priority ones for yourself. Now, if it's contribution, you will do more for others than you will do for, than others will do for them. So that's the truth of it, with the contribution. Tony is, that's his, one of his, one of his big, big needs is contribution. That's the reason why he does what he does. Contribution. If growth is one of your top priorities, then you wanna always be in places where you grow, where you're learning, where you're moving forward, where you're progressing. If you are in a, if growth is one of your situation, your human needs, your priority human needs, where you're in a situation where you're not growing anymore, you're in a job that you just hit the roof, you will leave, you will find a new industry. So you need to figure out what your priority ones are, the two priorities, figure out which is one, the first one. And the way you figure it out is find out what you love, find out what you think about most of the day, what you do, how you react with other people. Once you go through that list in a week, you will realize what your main priority is. The way you speak, the language that you use, is it all about certainty? You want certainty, you want security, you want to make sure that people know exactly what they're doing, when they're doing it. Or is it, mm, you change up your words, you like a bit of variety, you like to change things around. Is it significance? It's all about the importance of something. You are the main person that you walk into. You, when you have the meeting, all eyes on me. Is that this, the way you're living? Which is, again, superpower in every single industry. But that's also the other key that I want to go to, and I'll come back to it. The key here is whichever is your priority, you are in that field, you are doing that. And if you're not doing that, then you're not fulfilled. So the fourth one, is it love and connection? Do you like to socialize? Do you like to talk? Do you like to speak to people and really get into the social atmosphere, connecting with people? 
growth if you want to you if, you, if you're growing you're learning you're progressing you're pushing forward you are an industry that's that's growing if the industry is dying you're moving up over to so somewhere else and contribution do you give more to others than anyone else gives just figure that out the first one is the priority one the second one is also very important once you know those two then you will realize why you make those decisions why you live the life that you live once we figured out these two the top two then we'll understand are we in the right goal are we in the right job are we doing what we are meant to be doing because if we're not if we're not hitting those two top priority ones then you will feel upset you will feel overwhelmed you will feel sad however just like an actor for instance who wants significance if he is put in an industry or a field where he's not significant then they will not feel fulfilled. If they have significance and love and contribution, then they will be in an industry where they are number one, but they're contributing. So we just need to think, we just need to know exactly what those two fields are. So once we figure that out, then we are able to, once we practice that and figure that out, then we're able to learn others and influence others others as well so I'm going to stop there just something for you to think about I will continue this um, we need to figure out the top two priority um, of our uh, human needs once we figured that out then we can we can figure out how to be more powerful leaders how to move forward because the next step after this is figuring out our team's two priorities and once we figured that out, then we're able to influence them through language, through our body, body language, through our physiology, our words that we use, we can change it. That's not manipulation, it can be seen as manipulation and people, con artists do manipulate. But if you're watching this, then you're all about contributing, adding value, spreading love to people, giving more. You're not gonna use this in a bad way this, this power in a, in, a, in a bad conning way you're going to use it to make sure that people are pushing themselves growing and through the videos that you probably watch for me you probably realize that my two top priorities is growth which is my number one I'm always I always need to be an industry where it's growing my one of my biggest saying is keep moving forward that's all that's that, that that's my one the second one is uh, contribution I love contributing hence the reason why I'm making these videos is to I'm hoping that it will contribute to your life to contribute to my children's life in the future what YouTube I believe is gonna be it is huge and it's gonna keep getting bigger kids are watching all the time and I'm hoping my children will watch it and all these teachings that I give I'm hoping that I'm contributing in some people's lives and if I'm not then my pretty face contributes to people's lives that's a joke Okay, guys, keep adding value to people's lives. Keep spreading the love. I just remember we are one idea away from changing the future. And I will continue this leadership uh, path to leaderships in the next few videos. So I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.